This is part of an old board motor I'm doing some work on for a lad. This is the end I'm working on so I'll bring the camera in and show you the problems that we've got. Originally that drops onto the splains, the splains aren't too bad further down but the tops are all rotted away. There'll have been a washer went in there in a sew clip or a spring clip went in there to retain it. So what I'm going to do to make it stronger or better or repair it I've got a piece of steel here. I'm going to machine the piece of steel to be a good fit inside of there and then I can drill holes in and put a couple of big plug welds in to hold it in. And on the top where it sticks through there I'm going to put a 22mm by 1.5 thread and we'll make an aluminium collar for there. That'll tighten in and pull that down nice and tight. And I've also got to put a hole through the centre because there's a control cable goes through there. I found a piece of stainless steel bar. I might as well use that because it is a marine application. Or at least I'll repurpose this piece of stainless. We want this to be 24mm. And it's actually inch, it's 25.14, so we'll take that down to 24mm and get some threads onto it. Right, 24mm. I'll set the lathe open and get some threads put into it. That's a 1.5mm foam tool. The thread's 24 by one5 It's a fine thread, but the thread used quite a lot in the motor trade. So I've just set the tool up so it's nice and square to the job. It's dead on centre height, and I'm just going to go straight in and do the cut in sort of one cut. I'm not going to put the tool in at an angle. Right, I'm just going to touch the tool off. Round. That's it engaged. And you keep your hand on the half nut lever to get it disengaged. Cut the thread now. And once it gets up to the shoulder, layer, disengage the nuts and get the tool out quick. Seems to speed up a little bit at this period in time.
like starting to go on, so we'll do the same. We'll do it in that cut. It's exactly the same setting, the spring cut. Faster features. Good start there. Feel better. The wrist still tight. Settling for that. I like that. Yep. So I'm just going to get shortened. Yeah, that's spot on. Absolutely spot on. No problems at all with that. Nice sharp, clean thread. Like I say, it'll probably be going to get shortened. But we'll leave it at that length for the minute. What I'm trying to do here is get some of the rust and shade on the inside of the tube. So I know roughly what size the machine is down to. And I'll do a quick good fit in there. And the hole's actually over it. The mess. Quite thick wall of it, it'll be alright. So if we go for that, which is. A real English size 61 64 which is a thick funny tail and orange. This is nice material this. I think what kingpins off a Morgan kit car if I'm right with that give us them. It's a good stuff to the machine. That will go into there, that bastard shot. That will go into there with a lead persuader, no doubt about it. That will go in there. So we'll part it off and then decide how deep I'm going to put it and put some plug welds in. In fact, I may machine that side down as well and put it in really deep. It can't do any harm. No, we'll leave it at that length. It's pointless. And more weird it.
tightness. Just about there. Got the wobble gone. That's it. Right. Nice. A lot of people ask why I don't use coolant on the layer that often do. I'm just doing do it when I'm videoing because obviously the water has pissing everywhere. Look at that bastard. Fill the flute to the drill up and then jam. Right. Put a chamfer on the end of the end, I think that'll just about do. I mean, it's a 17 mil hole, and that's what he asked for, so his control rod was go up that. So the nut still screws on, that's worked out quite nicely. I'm just going to tear a little bit off the nut. Bash that through. It's actually a drive shaft nut, what they call a stake nut, and that bit there is a bit of stake and there was a slot on the drive shaft end to stop it coming undone on it. And the dash was falling in. heavy washer as well so it's quite a, quite a deep nut. I'm not sure how tight it's meant to be. But if it was really a snap ring hold it on it. I thought that pretty good. Just take the nut end of the nut up looks much better with it. A little bit knocked off, a little bit more. If this was mine, I would chop that top part off because that part we've made would go down there and put onto that quite nicely. But he doesn't want to cut the top of that off. So I'm going to make a spacer washer, I've got a bit of bronze there, a spacer washer that's a nice fit in there, board out, so it just drops over there and then that will tighten on top of it. I'm just using this because it's, it's handy, he suggested aluminium but aluminium and seawater are not really ideal. 
square the end up first and then bore a short section of it out. mill off that old side. Beautiful material this, got a bear and bronze. It needs to be now. the bronze base drops in there like that you put your circle clip on and then when I hammer that into there weld it in we'll take the nut down and that pushes everything together and I think we'll still be alright for height you said I had an inch and that's well below an inch anyway that's looking like it's going to do the job quite nicely Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that have been coming in.